What is up YouTube? Back again with another tool video uh, review that I have in my toolkit that I really, really, really been having a lot of success with, right? And my team really loves this tool and it's called RevSeller, right? So essentially all it is, it's a glorified Amazon calculator, right? It helps you figure out your profits and a little bit other things too, right? It has some cool features. So we'll go ahead and jump straight into it. So this is RevSolar, RevSolar.com is where you can download it. It is not a free tool. Keep that in mind, it's like $99 per year. And this tool is really good if you're doing RA, wholesale, online arbitrage. It also does work really well with private label for me and my team. There's also other Amazon calculators that you can use out there. But the reason, you know, me and my team really like it is that, as you know, some of you guys may have known before, I used to have a tool called Zally that I was developing, but I didn't want to continue forward with that project because it was taking a lot of time for me and I didn't write, have the right team behind it. So I just kind of scrapped that project and I would like to, you know, like anyone who used Zally knew how much it was kind of similar to RevSeller. So, you know, with RevSeller, this is how it kind of works. It gives you, you know, just like this little HUD that's right on top of your Amazon listing. So it makes it easy for you to like figure out your profit. So like say if I know like the item I'm sourcing is like $4, $3, I can easily punch it in and know my ROI, my profit margin and my net profit. So there's a lot of Amazon calculators out there, but they don't show all three of those stats, which is super, super important to me, right? Because my team has a baseline ROI that they shoot for, my team has a base um, margin that they shoot for, and my team has a base net profit that they shoot for too. So this is kind of what it does. It also gives you an idea of how many FBA sellers there are and how many merchant fulfilled sellers there are, right? So note that's only one seller on here, right? It also has these like quick hot links to Camel Camel Camel, which I don't recommend. I love I like keep a way better than Camel Camel Camel. The actual Amazon calculator in the case uh the official Amazon calculator in case you you want want to like double check some of these numbers, make sure they're right, update some of like the weight and stuff, because sometimes the listing has like the weight wrong. So you want to configure it in the Amazon calculator and really figure that out. But in addition to this, right? They have this feature where you can see like the different reviews, which are pretty nice, right? You can jump into it and sort all of that out. You can also basically Google this product and search, you know, this product on eBay for its UPC Google, you know, title of this first of this product in Google. It just has these short quick links. What I do also like is it gives you an idea of like how high like this item is within its respective category in terms of sales rank. So super helpful within depending on your business model for ra online run charge and wholesale sales drawer is new this is pretty neat so it just gives you an idea especially for you ra wholesale guys of how basically if you can sell this product or not right so right now i can this one i can sell directly and sell new but this product it says you need approval and what i mean by that is once you click on this it'll go to your ad product page and what it does is it will go straight into this and show all this so you will see that for a new condition you need approval to list in this brand so another feature i like within RevSeller is that say their your product has a lot of variations right so in terms of like sizes or you're like trying to understand your competitor and see like which one of his variations is selling like hotcakes is it like you know is it just black one is it the dark blue one is it the gray model is it the white model is it gray um another gray model right you know, this issue is definitely something you have to see a lot in clothing if you're going down that route. But you want to make sure you're like selling the popular items, right? So the way it works is there's this variation viewer, right? This feature is like very, very handy. And this works really good for like wholesale too or RA and OA. It's like trying to decide like which variation is going to be the most popular like seller. And I should have more of that in stock ideally, right? So what we go ahead and do is once we click variation viewer, you'll see that 41 reviews say that the black one is the most popular one, then gray, then white. So sometimes this is wrong. Uh, keep that in mind. I don't know if the owner knows that, but for example, like dark blue is not, doesn't show up on there. Gray does show up on there. White does show up on there. And the other uh, gray, okay, so gray one. Okay, so don't accidentally, so this one's gray one, six pairs, and this one's gray. So this gray, has reviews but not this one okay and then this gives you a good indicator right so if you're a private labeling a product you're like you know what color should this bachelor be what color should i make you know these shirts right 
So this gives you an idea of your competitors, right? Of how they're doing within their business. So you know that the black model is super popular and that's kind of like what you should do. Another good interesting thing too is if you're selling, uh, you know, doing RA online arbitrage or anything like that, you can kind of see how many offers there are, right? And what offers mean is like how many people are selling this exact variation. So this product doesn't have any variations, but uh, if you were kind of looking around trying to understand like what is going on um, in terms of which one variation is the most popular, this gives you a good indicator of like, oh, okay, so maybe this black one is super competitive if it had like 15 sellers and everything else had just one, 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 right? So it would help guide you on your decision of like, maybe like 15 sellers is too much competition and you don't want to get into that. So that's one of my favorite features of RevSeller. But at the end of the day, it's just a quick and easy way to just figure out like what my you know profits are, right? Net profit, ROI, and margin. And this is super important for you to be, be able to move fast. Normally, if you didn't have this, right, and you were just doing the, the way that Amazon provides you, you would have to pull up your Amazon calculator, right? Which is like pulling up this profitability calculator. And once you pull that up, right, the nice thing about RevSeller, it automatically inputs your ASIN, but you would have to usually input, okay, well in this situation, um, it didn't, but you would just go ahead and copy over the ASIN. Uh, so quick little tip, you, this is where I copy the ASIN all the time. It's always up here and that's the Amazon barcode essentially. So once you put it in, you would have to manually put in like 18.99, right? And put in, punch in all that information and then you would put in like how much the item costs. So it's just like a lot of extra steps, right? And this could be like, say 30 seconds every single time we're looking at products and if we're looking at hundreds of products right so 30 seconds divided by 100 which is i don't know a lot of seconds it all adds up over time and if you can reduce the amount of time you know in your workflow and automate and systematize and process it and speed things up you're gonna get a lot more stuff done right not only you but possibly if you have a team if you give them this tool like they'll speed up their process when it comes to like sourcing stuff giving you price quotes giving you you know your net profit roi and profit margins telling you which variation is going to be the most popular okay so other than that you know like i really want to know what amazon fba calculator you guys are using within the comments below right are you guys using rev seller where you guys uh, you know past customers of Zally, you know, shout out to you guys. I'm sorry that I'm not continuing with it anymore. You know, are you using the standard Amazon FBA calculator? Are you using, you know, like AMZ Scout or any of the other ones, right? Please let me know in the comments below. But other than that, make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe to our the Solar Tradecraft YouTube channel. See you guys.